Hello everybody and welcome back to another crazy random episode of this Let's Play. Um, I did finish the main campaign and this is kind of just a transition episode to go from the main campaign to separate ways which I will be doing after this episode. Um, this one's just to show you all the uh, all the good shit you get when you beat the uh, main game. Uh, so I just up, uh, loaded a new game file that is actually the same file that I did on the Let's Play. And um, it starts here. They basically show you a merchant. And you got all this shit. I mean, it's the same. Everything seemed the same. But then you got the Matilda, which is new. It's um, basically a handgun, but it shoots like three bullets in a quick, quick like three round burst. Um, pretty powerful, but um, runs out of ammo pretty quickly. But I will be showing you these weapons. And I believe he also did have. Uh, well, of course he's got the the Chicago typewriter too, but you don't normally unlock that after beating the campaign uh, first. You unlock the uh, infinite launcher. Um, the one thing to note is that when you beat the game, you, while you do unlock them in the store, you still have to, you know, buy them. So, yeah, they're like a million pesetas each, so pretty, um, pretty crazy. And uh, here, I'm just showing you the costume that you get. It's pretty badass. The Leon from Resident Evil 2, if you don't know. Uh, RPD, Raccoon Police Department. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just loaded this file to show you this costume. It looks pretty cool, and it actually has a cost new costume, too. Uh, it's like some hipster crazy thing. I, I forget what it looks like exactly, but, um, yeah, and now we're gonna transition, and I'm gonna show you the Matilda and the um, the what's it called the, um, the Infinite Launcher. So if I can just figure out how to uh, uh, maybe I have to reset the game. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Oh, whatever. But yeah, I got a little uh, I got a little checklist of things to show you guys that when you beat the game, you, you unlock so much good shit. Like, you get a uh, cutscene browser to look at all the cutscenes if you want to. Um, just a bunch of stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna load another game where I do have my... Um, where I do have all the weapons. I think it's this one? I'm not completely sure. I hope this is the right one. Um, this is what was my main original file where I got pretty much everything. Yeah, it looks pretty... Um, yeah, it looks like this is it. Okay, so I've got the Chicago typewriter equipped. Of course you got the badass costume I'm wearing now, but you don't unlock that later. You, don't, you unlock that when you beat uh, separate ways, which I'll be doing soon. So here's the Matilda. Just gonna do a little demonstration here. Pretty cool weapon. I have uh, upgraded it fully if uh, you didn't realize, so. Yep. Yeah, it runs out of ammo extremely quickly. Um, infinite launcher, badass as well. Costs a million pesetas, but still, I mean, seriously, it's. It's awesome. You never run out of rockets and it just keeps going. Uh, so now I'm at like a Krauser boss fight, I guess, and um, let's go kick his ass and show the power, show him the power of the rocket launcher. Skip the cutscenes, of course. You've already seen that shit. <laughs> Yay! And now, let's see. He's gonna come down. Yep. Yes. Little bitch. Yeah, it took one shot for him to throw his flash grenade, but that's just a little quick demonstration. Um, now we're gonna transition to something else. Probably mercenaries mode. Uh, I'm just looking at the um, checklist here. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you also unlock professional mode. Oh shit, I didn't reset the game. I restarted it, the whole thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, you unlock professional mode, which 
as you can tell, I don't need to really explain this. It's self-explanatory, but um, it's harder, obviously, and um, yeah, it's just to challenge yourself, screw around. Well, I mean, you can't really screw around. You got to be serious in, in a professional playthrough. Um, but it's really not that much harder. I think uh, the professional mode in RE5 was actually a little more difficult. Okay, so extras. I could guess I could quickly show you this, the movie browser. It's basically just pretty much every cutscene in the game for you to watch over and over, I guess. Uh, I don't really need to show you that, though. And I guess the last thing to show you is the mercenaries, which... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have never played this at all. I, I, I played the shit out of the single player campaign, I played the shit out of uh, separate ways, everything else, just not this. So I don't really know what to expect, I know it's some kind of mini game thing. Okay, I guess I don't really have any choices here. Um, okay, so it looks like the village and castle, and these two areas, I don't really know what they are. I guess we'll just do the village for now, since I know that area pretty well. <laughs> um, don't really know what the objective is. Maybe just survive a certain amount of time. Uh, who knows? Maybe eliminate as many Ganados as you can before your evac chopper arrives. Okay. Uh, earning you more points. Uh, unlock a new character with a four-star ranking. Okay, sounds pretty arcadey. Um, Okay, what is this? Bonus time? For each kill. Oh, I, okay, I guess this is like a timed venture and you gotta kill as many as you can. Kinda getting the gist of this. Okay. So it's pretty much just more of the same, I mean, at least from what I can tell. I mean, I, I'm not even trying to conserve ammo. <laughs> Obviously, they probably give you enough of that shit. And I'm sure there's um, more time things to collect everywhere. I'm assuming. Shotgun shells, alright. I might as well use this. Uh, enemies don't seem to drop anything. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks pretty much... It looks like a lot of fun, actually. You could actually... It seems like you could um, get some pretty... Uh, get into it a lot. Pretty deep minigame. I'm not seeing any chainsaw guys, though. Maybe one's gonna pop up. I don't know. Huh. Let's see. I'm, uh, is there like a, another hourglass I can pick up somewhere? Oh, look, something was in there. Oh, that was close. 90 seconds? Wow. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it seems pretty intense. I guess if the single player campaign wasn't intense enough, I guess this is the perfect thing for you. Swarm yourself voluntarily. Shit. Oh, jeez. Um, probably should be using a shotgun, but, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to show you any more of this, but... Uh, this is basically just all the stuff you unlock, and... Next time, yes, I will be playing through separate ways. And... Yes. It's gonna be awesome. So, yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Uh, for the return of Resident Evil 4. Fuck yeah.